In this video, we are going to talk about the identity element. We were talking about binary operations. We have already covered what is commutativity, what is associativity and the next topic under the heading of binary operations is identity element. Now we all are aware of the word identity. It has different meaning in different fields. In mathematics, identity would mean which remains as it is. Remember we did identity relation which was similar in some respects to reflexive relation wherein we had a comma a in ordered pair that means the same thing. Similarly, identity element is what? Let's read and let's understand the same with the help of some theoretical approach. Let's star be a binary operation. So a binary operation is given as star and the set we are involving is set capital S. If there exists an element small e which belongs to the same set and this definition is followed a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a then we say that the element e is called the identity element. That means suppose a binary operation is applied between a and e which results in a. And the order does not matter. If I apply the same binary operation to first E then A, then also I get A. That means no change happens on application of small E with A. That means we are talking about the identity element E. Now let's see some examples to understand this concept of identity element better. Suppose I have an element as A. Now what must be added to A to give me back A? That means what should be the sum of A with something to give me back A only? So the element that needs to be added is 0. Similarly, I can say that 0 plus A is also equal to A. That means here what we have done? Here in this example, we have applied a star 0 is equal to a which is equal to 0 star a, which is same what the definition says. Similarly, another example would be what? I take up a and I want to find what should be multiplied with a to give me back a only. That means A has to be multiplied by what to give me A? I know 2 ones are 2, 3 ones are 3. If you want to have the same element all over again, you need to multiply by 1, which is ultimately equal to 1 into A only. So in the first example, what is the identity element? Here, 0 is identity element. Whereas in the second example, what is the identity element? 1 is the identity element. Why? Because applying the operation of the given number or the element with 1 in this case and with 0 in this case does not change my answer. What about the third example? The third example says I don't have a or 1 or 2, rather I have a natural number n. Now what must be multiplied with this natural number to obtain n again? What must be multiplied with n to obtain n? And the category is for sure of natural numbers because it is written as n. So 1 can be multiplied, so the answer is 1, 1 is the identity element. Because 1 belongs to the natural numbers, so 1 is identity element. But talking about the fourth example, there is a slight change. What is the change? Let's see. Example number four talks about something called as n again. That means a natural number. And it wants me to get back n again. That means again a natural number. And it tells me that now I need to apply the addition operation. 
So what must be added to n to get n? 0. But 0 is not a natural number. So that means this blank cannot be filled by 0. Rather the answer is nothing. That means it has no identity element. Why? Because if I want to fill 0 here, 0 cannot be filled because 0 is not a natural number. So this example has no identity element. So by these videos and examples, we come across some theoretical approaches and some examples and numericals. So in this video what we did? We did identity element. We saw the theory of it. We also saw some examples to the same. In the next video, we'll be seeing some question based on identity element.